Snakes are ambush predators. Snakes like rattlesnakes, pythons, they prefer to lie in wait for their prey to come close. When their prey is within reach, then they strike quickly. Most snakes depend less on sight and sound but more on detecting vibrations and heat. Gliding snakes leap from tree to tree to catch their prey. While tree snakes will come down to the ground to hunt, snakes like anacondas or pythons constrict their prey to immobilize them. While others will use venom. Snakes are not usually fast moving animals, but there are exceptions. Some snakes like eastern racers, black mamba chase their prey at relatively high speed and some snakes hunt in pack. Yes, you heard it right. This world would be a scary place knowing that snakes hunt in packs. But one biologist in Cuba proved for the first time ever that reptiles don't just hunt near each other, they hunt with each other. You ever had the misfortune of being hunted by a snake? In spite of everything, you could consider yourself lucky. At least it's not an entire pack of snakes teaming up to run you down and devour your flesh. Snakes are not social creatures, they don't live in packs like wolves or chatter each other like prairie dogs or bonds like lion prides. Unlike wolves, the snakes don't otherwise hang out together. They're solitary creatures. Wolves hunt together for primary social reasons. Multiple studies have shown that they don't necessarily get more food by sticking with a pack. But snakes join forces for just one thing. To kill. Snake species could coordinate their hunts in ways such as this. But scientists have yet to encounter the phenomenon because we know so little about this mysterious creature's hunting pattern. New research suggests that coordinated snake pack hunting is all too real. A pack of Cuban boas coordinate bat hunts in the sinkhole caves of Cuba's national park. All this goes down in almost complete darkness. They're in a national park with little light inside a cave at fairly dark times of the day. The snakes aren't bothered by the dark because boas hunt by touch. When bats brush against them, the snakes strike. These boas have a distinctive way of hunting their prey concealing themselves in a small pit like. The Cuban boas which hunted alone, hanging far away from other snakes, were much less likely to catch a bat and often had to go home without a meal. The most successful snakes were the ones that positioned themselves near other snakes. Together they formed a kind of a fence across the cave, more effectively blocking the bat's pathway out. These snakes did not appear to compete with each other over the bats and all left in the end having eaten. It just wasn't clear how coordinated these efforts were. It makes sense that they would have all have a similar sense of where the best spot to hunt is. So many snakes gathering in one area doesn't necessarily mean they're coordinating. To prove that, you'd have to prove that the snakes were actually taking each other into account. That if boa number two shows up and sees boa number one, he's more likely to stick near that first snake. Being together helps them. And ideally, you would also prove that when snakes hunt together, they're more successful. Hanging upside down from the ceiling of the passage that connected the roosting chamber to the exit. The bats fly past on their daily commute, giving them an opportunity to strike. It would look a little something like this. Each boa caught an average of one bat per snake and usually did it under 7 minutes. The boas left once they caught a bat, so the maximum batting average was one. Here it is unnerving to watch. And it looks like the poor iguana is doomed when it gets tangled up in a bunch of snakes. But the reptile wriggles out of the cluster and scurries up the rocks, making a dramatic leap to safety as one snake lunges its mouth wide open in a failed last-ditch effort to catch its prey. The snakes come across as the villains here, which is like an action sequence from a Hollywood blockbuster. 
with the iguana as the hero. But the snakes aren't motivated by malice or greed or a thirst for power. Of course, the need for hunger. The island has so little food, so many of them were going hungry most of the time. It's not a gang of snakes hunting together. This is who gets to eat, the baby iguana. Just like boas on land, we have our sea snakes in water. Sea snakes are among the most venomous snakes in the world compared to their land cousins. They can paralyze or kill their prey before they swim away. They lay eggs in the ground but hunt in the water. But they cannot swim as fast as the fish, so they band together and hunt the fish by cornering them within the crevices and caves around the coral reefs. And the fish goes straight into the mouth of the sea snakes.